Alright, good morning you guys. Here are your essay staff. I had a great time reading them over the weekend. You guys did a really good job. Um, but you will notice that there are no grades. That's because we are not done with them yet. Um, we're going to do a lot of revising over the next couple weeks. And eventually you will have masterpieces. But these are our only just rough gifts. So um, the first thing that we're going to do in editing is we're going to work on thesis statements. Does anybody know what a thesis statement is? No? Interesting, because a couple of you actually have thesis statements in your essays already. Um, a thesis statement is the sentence generally in the very first paragraph of your essay that's going to say what the rest of your essay is about. Um, it's just kind of a sentence that the rest of your essay is proving. Um, so now that you guys know what a thesis statement is, any of you guys find it in your essay? Um, Care? Mama's plant represents her dream of very good. That actually is a thesis statement. Did you know you were writing a thesis statement when you wrote that? Not really. I just kind of wrote it. Yeah, most of the time thesis statements are going to come pretty naturally um, just because it is a sentence that's just answering um, the essay prompt. But if you know what your thesis statement is, um, when you're writing it and when you're writing the rest of your essay, it's going to help you focus in on the most important parts of your essay and just write a better essay. So. I have a worksheet for you on these statements that we are going to read to get there. Um, so, so um, Neha, will you read the first characteristic of a good thesis statement? It is a statement, not a question. And then the two sentences below that, one of them is a statement and one of them is a question. So one's right, one's wrong. Can you read them and tell me which one's right? Um, what does Mama's plant represent? And Mama's plant represents her dream. Um, I think the second one. Yeah, yeah very good. Everyone got that? All right, so circle that one. Um, Kara, will you read letter B, please? It makes an assertion, not an opinion. Mama's plant represents her dream. Representing her dream is a symbol that helps the reader to understand her character. And two, a raisin in the sun is a great play. Which one is an assertion? The first one. Good job. All right. Nikhil, would you please read letter C? It is debatable, not factual. In the novel, A Raisin in the Sun, Mama has a plan. Mama's plan is really important to her because it represents her dream. All right. Which one do you think is debatable? Um, Good job, Nico. Alright, I have a volunteer for letter D. Well done, Lonnie. Can I help? It targets a specific area, not a general aspect. The symbol of Mama's plant represents her dream of owning a big house. There is some symbolism in a reason in the sun. Alright, which one is specific? Um, the first one. Alright, good job. So you guys all understand the four characteristics? Alright, good. And we will move on to a game. And if you win a game, you get candy. Yeah, they like candy. Who doesn't? All right. So um, there's a question, and then there are four thesis statements in answer to the question. Um, one of them is a good thesis statement, and the other four are not good for one of the four reasons that we just discussed. So who would like to read number one? Neha, would you like to read number one for us? What is one thing that the elements of fantasy in Twilight adds to the novel? A, vampires and werewolves are awesome. B, but really, who is Bella Swan? C, Edward is a vampire and vampires are not real. D, Meyer uses a mythical creature to characterize the people in her novel, especially Edward and Jacob. And E, there are a lot of elements of fantasy in Meyer's novel, Twilight. All right, does anyone have an answer? Kara? Mm -hmm. Is it E? All right. So let's go through our criteria. Is it a statement? Yes. Yes. Is it an assertion? Yes. Is it debatable? Um, I think so. Are you sure it's debatable? Um, is anyone going to say there's no fantasy in, in Twilight? No? No. So it's not really debatable? Not really. All right. So if it's not that one, then which one do you think it is? Could it be B? Yeah, all right. So is that a statement? Yes. Assertion? Yes. Debatable? 
Yes. Specific. Yes. All right. Good job. Here is your pen. Who would like to read the second one? Hey. Um, analyze the component of Shakespeare's language in A Midsummer's Night Dream. Shakespeare uses rhyme to make the fairies and lovers in his play seem more romantic. Shakespeare uses many conventions of writing to make his plays beautiful. Shakespeare's writing is beautiful because of his use of rhyme and rhythm. Shakespeare uses iambic pentameter and rhyme in his writing. And why is Shakespeare's writing so effective? All right, anybody have an answer for me? For a chocolate? Uh -huh. C. All right, is that one a statement? Um, yes. Is it an assertion? Uh, yes. Are you sure about that? No. No? All right. So do you understand the difference between assertion and opinion? Yeah. Sort of? Okay. Well, an assertion is going to be something that um, you can try and prove to somebody. But you can't really prove to somebody their opinion. Like, you know, I like Kara's jacket. You might not like Kara's jacket. I can't be like, well, why don't, like, I can't try and convince you to like Kara's jacket, right? Okay. So that's an opinion. But, you know, okay, I can't make an assertion about Kara's jacket, but it doesn't make sense. But an assertion would be something, um, basically, that isn't an opinion. Okay. And isn't a fact, but yeah. Okay? I'm wearing a jacket. But that's a fact, so that's still not a piece of statement. Does that make sense? But that is an assertion. You're right, it's not an opinion, but it's still not a piece of statement. Um, it's difficult to find a balance between fact and opinion, so you can't have either in the statement. Okay. But so then, is it um, is it A? All right. Is that a statement? Yes. Is it an assertion? Yes. Is it debatable? Um, yes. Is it specific? Yes. All right. Good job. You are right. Here's your and here and here. I'm handy too. All right. So now that you guys have a pretty good idea about what these statements are, um, we'll still work with them. Days. This will be important. Um, for homework, I want you guys to each write a thesis statement or, or revise yours. If, like Kara, you have a thesis statement already in your essay. I want you to either revise or write your thesis statement for your essay. Okay. And have that ready to go over tomorrow. In fact.